Solve this transcendental equation, where, x is a real number. Solving transcendental equations can be challenging, because such equations often do not have closed form solutions. There are several methods to solve them. For example, graphical methods, numerical methods, and the Lambert W functions for some specific forms. We will solve this equation using two methods. Method 1. We let f of x, equal x plus 3 to the power of x, minus 735. By finding the derivative, we can determine the properties of the function f of x. f dash of x, equals 1 plus lin of 3 times 3 to the power of x, which is greater than 0 for all x. This implies that, f of x, is strictly increasing. When x tends to negative infinity, f of x tends to negative infinity. And when x tends to infinity, f of x tends to infinity. We can sketch f of x. Thus, the equation f of x equals 0, has a unique solution. Then how to find the root? We can use the bisection method to find the root. If there exist two points, a and b, such that, the product of f of a and f of b, is less than 0, then the root must be in the interval a b. Iteratively narrows down the interval, by having it. Because f of 5 is equal to, 5 plus 3 to the power of 5, minus 735. 3 to the power of 5, equals 243. So f of 5 is less than 0. If we find a point b, such that, f of b is greater than 0, then the root will be in the interval 5, b. We can try b equals 6, 7, and so on. f of 6, equals 6 plus 3 to the power of 6, minus 735. 3 to the power of 6, is equal to, 729. So f of 6 equals 6 plus 729, minus 135, which is equal to 0. Thus, x equals 6, is the unique solution. Method 2. We can also solve the equation using the Lambert W function. The first step is to transform the equation into the form, g of x, times e to the power of g of x, equals a number v. Where, v is a constant or expression independent of x. The second step is to apply the Lambert W function to both sides of the equation. By definition, w of g of x, times e to the power of g of x, equals g of x. The final step is to solve for x, in the equation g of x equals w of v. To transform the equation into the form, we rearrange the equation, 735, minus x equals 3 to the power of x. Divide the equation by 3 to the power of x, we have, 735, minus x, over 3 to the power of x, equals 1. We know that, a to the power of m, over a to the power of n, is equal to, a to the power of m minus n. By applying this, 1 over 3 to the power of x, is equal to, 3 to the power of negative x. So we can now write, 735, minus x, times 3 to the power of negative x, equals 1. Multiply the equation, by 3 to the power of 735. We know that, a to the power of m, times a to the power of n, is equal to, a to the power of m plus n. By applying this, 3 to the power of negative x, times 3 to the power of 735, is equal to, 3 to the power of 735, minus x. 3 can be written as, e to the power of lin of 3. We know that, a to the power of m all to the power of n, is equal to, a to the power of m n. By applying this, e to the power of lin of 3, all to the power of 735, minus x, can be written as, e to the power of 735, minus x, times lin of 3. Now multiply the equation by lin of 3. Apply the Lambert W function to both sides of the equation, the left hand side of the equation is, 735, minus x, times lin of 3. The right hand side of the equation is, w of 3 to the power of 735, times lin of 3. 
Rearrange the equation, we have, x equals 735, minus w of 3 to the power of 735, times lin of 3, over lin of 3. This is the answer. Sometimes the answer can be simplified further. 735, can be written as, 729 plus 6. We know that, a to the power of m plus n, is equal to, a to the power of m, times a to the power of n. By applying this, 3 to the power of 729 plus 6, is equal to, 3 to the power of 729, times 3 to the power of 6. 3 can be written as, e to the power of lin of 3. We know that, a to the power of m, all to the power of n, is equal to, a to the power of m n. By applying this, e to the power of lin of 3, all to the power of 729, can be written as, e to the power of 729, times lin of 3. 3 to the power of 6, is equal to, 729. Now exchange the orders, the numerator can be written as, w of 729, lin of 3, times e to the power of, 729, lin of 3. By definition, w of g of x times e to the power of g of x, equals g of x. By applying this, the numerator is equal to, 729, lin of 3. Lin of 3 in the numerator, and that in the denominator cancel. So x equals 735, minus 729, which is equal to 6. It is easy to verify that, when x equals 6, the left hand side of the equation, is equal to, 6 plus 3 to the power of 6, which is equal to, 6 plus 729, which is equal to, 735. Which is equal to, the right hand side of the equation. So x equals 6 is the only solution of the original equation.